All right, all right. Hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. Uh, I am Cabana Crypto, and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about tools. No, not tools of the unwise variety, uh, but tools pertaining to Hex and some of the ones that um, I find um, pretty valuable and I find myself uh, checking out regularly um, when it comes to you know the information that um, I find of most interest uh, regarding Hex. Uh, some of these you might be you know, quite familiar with, others uh, perhaps not, so I'll put all the links in the description. Um, we'll start off, I guess, with the swapping um, slash exchange kind of sites. Run through those really quick because I'm sure most are familiar, but just wanted to point out um, a couple of the ones that come to mind right now. The first is uh, ethhex.com. It's just the front end uh, for Uniswap. That's what we have here on the screen. So you can just come straight to the site. Boom, it's in your face. You can put some ETH in. Um, tells you how much hex you get. Um, and the slippage here. And if you wanted to add liquidity, uh, you can always you know go to the pool side and add some there. Uh, more on liquidity in a bit. Next up, we have One Inch Exchange. So this one's kind of a more popular one as of late when it comes to limit orders. So if you go right here beside Market to Limit, you can select that and can select your wrapped ETH or ETH or whatever you want to change into Hex. And similar to ETH Hex, it gives you the amounts, but you can also put in the price and uh, the timing on that. So goes that. Next up, we have Dex.Vision. So this is Dex.Vision with Uniswap version 2 pricing. So this pricing goes all the way back to May of 2020, where uh, Uniswap version 2 um, kind of took over there. And we can see the price history back until then, all the way up to the present where um, we're a penny and a fifth or so above that. I uh, love looking at just uh, the volume numbers. Again, these are more accurate than version one. And of course, the, the price uh, movement here. Speaking of version one, you can also um, go to version one. And for the true hexagon historian, uh, this is useful because it gives you the complete um, hex price history on Uniswap uh, since uh, hex or <laughs> since Uniswap was in existent, existence with hex. So you go all the way back to February, January of 2020. And we started from the bottom and now we're here. So how cool is that? And you can see, um, you know, the whale, uh, mega whale here that sent the price into motion. It never came back to that level. Uh, so that's awesome. And I can't wait to see this, you know, say years from now, looking back on, on this chart. Um, hopefully it's, you know, that data uh, never goes away. Ideally, really, um, I'd love to see this chart merged with the version two, that way it would give a total price history. Um, so I hope to see that um, one day. That's just my little aside there. Uh, next up, uh, gas prices are absolutely insane right now. Um, no joke, I was playing around with some uh, numbers yesterday. So I was looking at, um, you know, just say, hey, if I wanted to end a stake right now, what would it cost? And these things, these gas prices are so volatile right now. Uh, I went to check it. It was over 120 USD. Literally 15 minutes later, uh, same exact parameters. It was down to 50 couple dollars USD. Uh, that's how volatile these gas prices are. Uh, so, you know, don't be a gas FOMO bro. Don't, you know be a fee FOMO or, you know, if you wait long enough, you can get a break. So 
this uh, gas feed chart here uh, just kind of gives you an idea of times throughout the day to where perhaps you might have better odds at finding uh, some better rates on gas. Um, so it's just, you know, a nice little thing to, to check out and especially, uh, you know, monitor, you know, some near term trends. Obviously, if, you know, we're spiking up, you might not want to, um, you know, make your purchase at that time, you know, let it calm down a little bit. So it's just something to keep an eye on there. Um, this one is the liquidity. So we're on hex.vision again. So uh, this uh, liquidity chart right here is less exciting than what it used to be, say, last week, where it went back to the beginning of January. So at the beginning of January, uh, liquidity uh, was in the hundreds of millions, I want to say maybe 500 million hex. As we can see here, uh, liquidity is all the way down to about 80 million um, hex liquidity. So quite the difference. Um, and it's something that uh, I think bears monitoring over, over time. Liquidity could be, could be added and we could see a, a spike back at some point. You never know. But again, it's just one of these uh, tools that I like to look at on a semi-regular basis and have bookmarked. Uh, next up, we have the staking uh i guess calendar if you will uh for stake expirations so right now we're in february so current date puts us right about here so upcoming we have a pretty big stake about close to a billion hex total on uh, the 26th of february so what's interesting to know is that the majority of that is the origin address. So keep that in mind. The next big one after that is uh, over 1.4 billion on March 15th. Uh, that's the one that everybody has eyes on right now. And um, yeah, I think that's going to be um, uh, leading up to and after uh, perhaps a pivotal event in the near term history um, and movement of HEX. Could be wrong, but we'll see. A lot of play there. Um, another interesting thing is uh, these stakes in here, uh, near term, say a week, two weeks out. A lot of these short term stakers, they like to you know kind of keep their stakes rolling, uh, get interest, restake. So you'll see these kind of just roll along, and um, you know as it fans out here, I'm sure you know we'll actually have some of these rolling stakes kind of keep on going. Next up, uh, this is just like a little fun one I'd keep bookmarked. It's the overall penalties. So we're uh, closing in on 1.5 billion in penalties. And, you know, again, it's just a, a number I like to, to keep a, an eye on. And, you know, every now and then I'll just go back and look. Obviously, there are um, bots out there that uh, keep track of um, nukes. Uh, of stakes and penalties uh, in real time. But again, I just have this one bookmarked for the total count. Next up, we have graphhex.rocks. So what's cool about this one is, well, actually there are a few cool things that I really like about this one. First of all, uh, right up top here, we have the uh, staking percentage. So we're about 9.77% staked. Um, I just kind of love the simplicity of it. It's like right in your face. You look there, right? How much is staked? 9.77%. Cool. Um, that has risen steadily. Uh, every few weeks, it's gone up about 0.1%. Uh, right after big payday, we were, I want to say 9.4, 9 9.5. So it went up to about 9.8 or a little above. And since then, we've kind of just hung around this level. So um there's a theory or two behind that where where the those uh, unstakes going. If some people are cashing out, or are they moving in the stronger hands? Never know, but it's interesting to to keep an eye on. Another thing I love about this is the hex price um, with, uh, or actually the T share price with uh, hex USD price overlay, so you can track the um, hex share price in gold there and it's overlaid with the actual hex price so it's just a really cool visual that I like seeing there 
Um, next down, we got the share rate. So I think everybody knows by now or is familiar with the share rate. Uh, what else is here? Just the daily payout um, per hex T shares. Let's enter an address here. And below, you can enter an ETH address and check out the staking ladder for that account. Again, another cool visual. It's really quick and simple here. And uh, so let's just take a look at this guy that I entered, or girl, um, at this uh, random address I pulled. So it looks like he, she has some stakes ending in the near term, but after that, they're pretty heavy. Um, 2022 through 2024 uh, have quite the lull there for a few years. Then they're back in 2028 and a few more scattered about all the way out to it looks like 15 years. So that's pretty cool. Um, perhaps if I would, if I were this person, I would look at uh, maybe uh, taking some of these in here, these rather larger ones. And depending upon uh, what's going on in my life and the price of hex perhaps restaking some of that to make this a much more uh, stable even ladder over the course of time um, not financial advice but that's one thing to consider um, but again the, the reason i do like this is just another great visual and that's what uh, graph hex does it just visualizes uh, things all in one page one dashboard um, i absolutely love it Let's see, what's next? Oh, we can go to this lovely URL. It's hexlover.com, and we can see the greatest app in all of crypto. That would be the Staker app, so I'm sure everybody's familiar with that. That, my friends, is a cheap pop slash plug, as they say in the wrestling business. Uh, but yeah, everybody's got their referral links. It's Staker app is just outstanding. We've got the referral program going. Um, I know the ETH wallet addresses are rolling out. Um, so I couldn't make like a pools video without at least mentioning Staker app, um, even with my cheap pop there. All right, moving on. Let's go. Uh, so we have uh, the Ether scan. It's the uh, DEX tracker. Uh, this is another cool one. So if you're interested in seeing um, the hex transactions, um, just flow on by with the addresses um, or the address data with them. Uh, this is really cool. So it tells you, um, you know, what was exchanged here. So, you know, these are all on, uh, looks like Uniswap V2. Uh, I had Hex um, coming out for this amount of ETH. It also, you know, we have the USDC in here. So it's just a cool thing that if you're into checking out a lot of transactions, uh, many aren't because it takes a lot of time um it's something that i've been getting more into um i just find it interesting uh, there are more and more wallets that i uh keep adding to my list so perhaps that's another video in the near future uh that um you know i've found to be pretty interesting to track so we'll see uh, speaking of uh, tracking wallets you can do that by the main e etherscan site so you just go to etherscan.io and let's just plug in one of these eth addresses here so what's this guy been doing uh, so it looks like he's just been um, let's see here he's been all over the place so look at all these tokens let's go to his hex stack we can go to his hex stack there and we have a dumper. So this guy is just out, 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 out um, over the past couple of weeks selling that dirty liquid hex. He may very well live to regret that one day. Not financial advice, but hey. Last but not least, we have hexstreamers.com. And actually, it's not last. We have one more after this. Uh, so this lists all of the great streamers we have here in the Hexagon community. It looks like Joker's on right now. So it lists them. Uh, who's live, real time. Joker's on right now. Um, it will also list who's streamed recently. So uh, Discourse Syndicate's been on. Whales Only has been on. He was on yesterday. Uh, Chaos Experience. Uh, Big Pep. Go on down the line, Joe Hexotic, Unwreck Pirate, 
a lot of my favorites in here. Um, yeah, that Cabana Crypto guy, he's awesome. That coffee guy's not bad either. And hey, Crypty Girl, she's cool too. So just a cool tool for uh, your monitoring of hex streams. Um, the last one is hexlive.tv. So I like this one just because it's kind of like your hex TV guide, if you will. So if you want to know what's coming up, here you go. So looks like uh, tonight we have the hexologist, wouldn't you know? And followed by uh, gifting you hex slash funding gym. So Gary's on. Uh, looks like after that, uh, tomorrow we got our Aussie crew with day 43 OG and tomorrow evening. It's the best show in all of crypto. Hex happy hour with Cabana crypto and special guests. What's up Vince? What's up big Kirk? And you know, who knows who we'll have on, um, each week, but yeah, it's a, it's a fun time. So yeah, those are, um, a lot of the tools that, I use uh, for various reasons, but I just wanted to put these all in one video um, just to, you know, talk about them kind of in one shot. And I had all these tabs open. I'll put all these links in the description um, in the order that I talked about them there. And, you know, if you're interested in checking some of them out, all those links will be there, like I said. And um, yeah, if there's any other tools that, um, you like please please share them with me in the comments um anything you know that you find of interest or you think i might find of interest let me know I, i'd love to hear it um one of the things i've always like thought of is like my dream dashboard like what kind of stats would i want just on a one sheeter uh kind of thing kind of like what graph hex uh, dot rocks does um so I'd, you know, love the staking percentage. I'd want to see like, you know, penalties per day, um, you know, all sorts of, you know, neat little stuff that, you know, could be placed on one website and like my dream dashboard. But anyway, we have all these great websites, best stats, best websites in crypto. Um, so I just wanted to put all, all the ones that uh, I find of interest in to one video uh, in case you might find some of them of interest. So uh, that'll about do it for me. Uh, thanks for watching and I uh, hope to see you soon. See ya.